Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to be interviewing Devney Nixon. And so I am going to invite her in our live session. So give me a little minute for the tech that if you know me, you know I'm fantastic at the tech. Um, uh, which is a joke, of course, because I'm terrible at the tech. So I'm going to invite her. Let me know if you're seeing that invitation. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. I figured it yay. out. <laughs> you did. You yes. Did. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. Yeah. <laughs> Had a great vacation, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, that, that's great. I just came back from a vacation, too. All right. So um, we're going to talk about you, about you resetting uh, to show up with, without a mask, meaning with all of you and how that feels. And before we get to that yummy climax, I would love to know um, when you started acting, how you started acting, and then we'll take it. Oh, wow. Away. Okay. There was almost like two starts. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was like a start, a stop and a start again. Um, yeah. yeah, I stumbled into an acting class in college. I wasn't pursuing acting and I was like, Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love this. Um, and I went to, college for two years in this program and then left and got an agent and worked for only a year mm -hmm. and got married and had six children and had that life. Oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. That's madness. I have two and it's madness. So it's, how do, like I bow. I oh, it was crazy. It was crazy. I sometimes go, how did I do that? But, um, yeah, once you have two and you get past that, it's almost like you got this, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's all the same after that. <laughs> well, probably you get a pro at living in chaos. I don't, yeah. I don't see any other way. Yeah, you kind of have to just go with the flow. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I, you know, quit at that time. Yeah. And then, you know, as my children were in, like, theater when they're older I kind of got involved a little not me but you know you know mm -hmm. like with them and and then my son uh, became a filmmaker and I started just helping him on set and I was like I missing something oh my god I loved I didn't matter if it was a 12-hour day 13 hour day. I was like oh god I just want to be here yeah. mm -hmm. so then I all my Children were gone, and it was when I was about 58. I'm uh -huh. 63 right now. Uh -huh. And I was just sitting there, and I thought, I don't want to die before I do what really was in my heart what to do from mean? the beginning. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah. And so I went to train, did like a Meisner uh, thing, which was great. Yeah. It really taught me listening. Um, and just did a lot of training for a year and then got an agent, you know, books some work. Um, but, and so I've only been at this like five years yeah. and just recently, maybe a year ago, booked a, I can't say what it's going to be, but it's a, a, a big streaming, like a, a part for the first time that was like on a big set. Yeah. So that was exciting, but I was just, finding that it was just, I, first of all, I lost the excitement of acting. I just did not, I'd get a self tape in and I just, you know, I just lost all love of it. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have a way in. It was like, I, you know, you would have, you have directors say, oh, just be you. Or, you know, you hear that oh, wow. and I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, and I'm like, I don't have, access to that there's something missing and I remember even self taping you know giving away my power even in self taping when I didn't do it at home and just saying oh they know better and always 
always feeling yucky. Yeah. And also just um, there was this place of, uh, I don't I, there was more. And I just felt like I was hiding. Mm. I felt like I was, um, it, it, you know, I even had somebody when I was self-taping one time say, don't put any sauce on it. Mm. And I was like, what does that mean? So I was not, I, I don't know. I, that it just came to a place where I was like, I am not, something's not there. Something's big missing and I could feel it. Yeah. Um, and you've expressed it so well, right? Because you said so many different words. Like you didn't feel the fun. You felt the, ugh. Yeah, love for it's like a it. chore. And then, yeah, and then yeah, because it's a chore, and you say it's yucky, and like yeah, it's. I think um, a lot of actors are experiencing this type of contraction, right? When yeah. When self taping, or when they're even on set, and you know, you put all your dreams and hopes in. When will I book? Or I want to book that type of role, and then you book it, and you're on set, and you still feel a contraction. You know, and 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 sometimes actors start doing this work, and they're like, they have no idea what's happening, but you're very conscious of what was happening, like losing the fun, the yuckiness, yeah. not being able to be yourself, not knowing, like when asked to how to be yourself and pleasing and all of those yeah. things. It's really a very uncomfortable, um, you know, group of sensations that you do want to put your finger in. You can't just continue to push yourself to the next position right. and push yourself to the next self tape, hoping this is going to pass, hoping I'll book the next thing and then I'll be fine. You won't, right. you know, we work with yeah. people who are booking all the time and have been doing so for decades and it gets worse and worse because there is no more hope that the next thing will make me feel good from the inside right the job is an inside job yeah the fulfillment comes definitely yeah. so is that when you so you felt that missing piece and that confusion that ickiness in you is that when you decided to reset yourself and do and approach things differently yeah it was weird um you know because there's a slowdown now um you know with the strikes and all um it was like i kept looking <laughs> For some classes and I just I just was like no I I was longing for something very holistic mm -hmm. I wanted something that was not, not just like oh another technique or something yeah. I said I just need something that's uh, to access myself I, it was almost like I was looking for something I, I don't know Oh, just natural. <laughs> I can't yeah. even explain it, but yeah. that was well, like the word that comes to me. Yeah, and I can tell you why you, there's no words or why you can't explain it because you are not looking for something external of you. You're right. looking for a way to go in, whereas classes and courses are an invitation to give away your power to an external authority, someone who knows better than you, a teacher. Oh, they know. They have all the answers. They'll teach me because they're better than me that's the conditioning we're born into and so if you've yeah. tested that and tasted that enough to know that it doesn't bring you fulfillment to you know um what's the word that i'm looking for to not export but to delegate your authority mm, and your yeah connection if it if it doesn't work then why look for the next class or the next teacher or the next fancy method you were looking right. at her, not that but actually the way to get into your yeah 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 that, that's exactly what, what you're saying i just mm -hmm. i you know because I, you, you hear I, like i was saying earlier you hear that all the time be you yeah. you're like okay <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need more access, and I, and I went through some tra traumatic death loss of my son, so there was that that was a real block, and but also, um, you know, if there's any ADHD actors out there, I didn't know that till I was adult, but that also was a place of where I was masking, you know, masking who I am because, 
you tend to be a very, um, you know, when you have ADHD, very impulsive. And sometimes you, you do stupid things, which is wonderful, but I thought it was bad. Mm -hmm. You know, this thing about me that is me that was yeah. beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Some of my impulsivity yeah. and, you know, I might say something that's different and my brain going and, um, or daydreaming or whatever. Um, I, I just was trying to do things right or perfect yeah. and just masking this part of me that yeah. was just getting pushed down. Yeah. And, and I'm glad you're bringing that up because a lot of people are being labeled. Yeah. ADHD or other things as if it was something wrong. Yeah. And um, a, a problem. And then all you're left with is, oh, these meds and doctors and I have to fix this because there's something wrong with me. And I'll always tell people, it's a label. Let's not go there because it's the result of Oops. Uh, oops. I can't. Oh, there you are. I lost you for a second. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. So it's the, it's the label that makes you believe um, that there is something wrong. Yeah. Those, yeah. Which is all different, you know? It's yeah. Like, if I was going to get labeled because my hair is blonde and then you because you need glasses like there is no label it's just who we are and it's wonderful it, i i love mm. to say it's beautifully messed up humans are perfectly beautifully majestically fucked up <laughs> we're all the wonders with the you know with the depths of it and the shadow <laughs> version of it and, yeah. and it, there's nothing in it that's not majestic so i'm glad that you're touching on that because a lot of actors think that is a problem and and therefore we'll stay hidden behind the label yeah we'll have a tendency to have that ceiling really stay down with well i have adhd so i can't do this or that not true it's actually wonderful that you yeah. are who you are and the way you are yeah yeah um, yeah mm. it's very freeing because i'm sitting here thinking you know i always had the mindset I had to get rid of something mm -hmm. and I don't have to get rid of anything. Mm -hmm. I just bring all of myself and it's been so freeing to have that kind of mindset change of mm -hmm. uh, it just, yeah, I bring in me and I'm, I'm wonderful. Like yeah. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> and so what is the result of that? The outcome of that is that now when you act, uh, how is it? that uh, feeling and the, something missing and the being you can you can you translate that oh gosh reset how does it feel it feels um the thing that feels different about it is i feel very limitless i love this it's like it feels like there before i felt like there was a limit yeah. now i feel like there is a unlimited potential in where I can go and what I can do now I need to you know uh, like exercise this muscle mm -hmm. of where I'm at right yeah. now but I'm I feel like I'm starting a journey in a whole different place. How, like how exciting yeah yeah you you're 58 to to be able well, I'm 63 to actually <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, even better. I like it. <laughs> and to, to not go into another label of, oh, now this is whatever, this, things are going to contract even more. No, 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 no. You're just having a rebirth. You're like, oh, there's a whole perspective, a new world yeah. is opening. And it's limitless. And how exciting yeah. and how life giving that is. How exciting that you uh, are able, yeah, to show up whole without, yeah, having to have a map. Yeah. Ask to hide yeah. what you were told is wrong about you. There's nothing about you that yeah. is wrong. You're pure, innocent, perfect, free, truthful, and human. I love that. Yeah. In, in everything. In, <laughs> in all my mess. Yeah. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. And that, of course, is when you can bring that depth and those layers to another human being that you embody yes. in a character. Well, then your character's alive. If you're going to bring the mask that you have to wear in your own life all the time, 
after decades, you're going to embody a character and what you're going to do is put a mask on them too. You're going to imitate them, yeah. pretend them, push, fake, etc. And there's no life. And so it's not impactful and it's not fulfilling for you to, to do that. It's icky. It's tiring. Yeah. It's depleting. Yeah. Like I often hear actors pre-reset, oh my God, when I'm on set and I have to do so many takes and blah, blah, blah. Especially the actors who were working with, they're like, I, uh, I'm drained. I'm so depleted. Then they finish their research and like, oh my God, how did I not know how easy it is now? I want to do more. Yeah. And yeah. even if they're like heavy emotional scenes, it charges me because I'm in my truth. I'm not pushing and pulling inside. Yeah. And yeah, masking. That's a lot of yeah. masking. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's how like even during the reset journey, um, there were sessions where I was like, oh my God, like I am energized yeah. at the end of end of this thing that was very intense of uh moving in and out of uh different emotions and um quickly and i was like this normally would be like i get done and you know yeah. trying to push and not not having to push yeah. is is not nice. it's yeah. slow mm -hmm. yeah definitely well that makes complete sense is there anything that you feel that um you haven't touched on about your experience that you want to share hmm well I, I I just feel like <laughs> I just feel like it was a spiritual experience. <laughs> I kind of like because I think it affected my personal life, mm -hmm. feeling that freedom. So if I'm not free as a human, how can I be free as an actor? This is the only instrument I have in this, <laughs> you know. So I guess it was just. Uh, yeah, that was like an added dimension of learning things about myself that were like I didn't even know. And I was like, wow, okay. So there, there was a lot. Yeah, it's almost like you, you it's hard to you know, <laughs> remember all of it, but that there was just a lot of that. Yeah. These aha moments continually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because since you're not learning anything new, I'm not teaching you a method or a technique, right. I'm not teaching you anything and you're not learning anything, quite the contrary, you're unlearning. So what happens when you undo all the programming from the system is you get home, you get mm -hmm. into you, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, yeah. oh, oh yeah, I know this. Like it's, it's a coming home sensation. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it feels. Yeah. So I'm, I just thank you all because I'm I'm glad I took the journey. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't all I have to say. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. it was hard. Yeah, it was challenging. It was, uh, I but at the same time, then you had the other side of where you were just so energized and excited yeah. about changes that were happening and and your well, mindset changes. Yeah. yeah, and what what you're describing is the hero's journey. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the, the hero's journey is you get out of your comfort zone, you undo everything that you know that makes you safe and validated and loved, and you step into the, the unknown in the dark woods and you go there and it's challenging and it's scary and it can feel like hard at times. Yeah. And yeah. and it's the necessary shedding of stuff in order to expand into a yeah. upgraded version of you and which is actually yeah not an upgrade, which is going back to who you initially came as. Right. And I, I feel like I'll add one more thing is I feel like I have something grounding that will sustain me, you know, more of like, like a, um, it, it just feels very uh, secure and, yeah, I don't know. Just something that, oh, yeah, this is sustainable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that part's good. Too. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's not, it's not a quick fix that you chew on and next week it, it flattens. Like if you would go for like a two day intensive acting class, you'd feel amazing and you'd feel inspired, but then your nervous system hasn't had the time to wire that in. Mm -hmm. And so then it deflates, right? And here we spend a lot more days together. Mm -hmm. So that, you're able to make that sustainable and actually wire that into your system. Yeah, 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 definitely. 
transformation. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for sharing, for being vulnerable, um, for, yeah, for your journey, for letting me yeah. <clears throat> witness you. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all the coaches that were in there yeah. too. I didn't get to thank them too. Besides you, <laughs> I was thanking yeah. them. They're, They're some real good coaches. Yeah. yeah. They're amazing. Uh, well, thank you for them. And then I will just share with anyone who's watching this right now or in later in the replay that if you're interested, <coughs> you can DM us, um, DM us the word reset, and then we can send you some information. We also have some free trainings that you can find in our um, about section in our, what is it called? Link in the bio. Um, and um yeah let us know if you need any help all right thank you thank you yeah so much. yeah thank you bye bye, bye. bye everyone